So today we're going to talk about how to respond to a naysayer or a critic of keto, uh, whether it's your friend or family member or your doctor that says, oh, keto is dangerous. You don't want to do that. How do you respond to that? Well, the first thing you do, you don't want to defend yourself. You want to ask this one question. What is your solution to the problem of diabetes, prediabetes? If you combine both of those, that equals over 50% of the population right there. Uh, it's the number one problem in Mexico, Saudi Arabia, China. I mean, the amount of people that are becoming pre-diabetic, uh, diabetic, they're getting fatter and fatter, is just off the charts. So you want to know, what is their recommendation for a healthy diet? Now, the conversation is probably going to stop right there. But they may say, well, you know, the best diet is going to be something that's evidence-based. Something by the USDA, like the Dietary Guidelines. Something that's approved by the American Heart Association or the American Diabetes Association or the American Medical Association or the American Motorcycle Association. That was my sarcasm. The Dietary Guidelines for the USDA are 65% carbohydrates, okay? So then you ask them this next question. Tell me why consuming two to 300 grams of carbohydrates every day is a healthy thing. Go ahead, I'm listening. And see what they say to that. And this is based on a 2000 calorie diet because 65% of the carbs on this diet right here equals this many grams of carbohydrates. That's crazy amounts. Keto, we're recommending 5% carbohydrates, which only come out to 20 to 50 grams of carbs per day, not 200 or 300 grams per day. But I would continue to ask this question until you get an answer. But the truth is, it is the absolutely unhealthiest thing you can do. And this is the healthiest thing you can do. And they're not going to really have an answer for it. But you at least want them to start looking at this really key point, which is this huge carbohydrate problem in relationship to the problems that we have, prediabetes or diabetes. But I will guarantee... 100% of the time, they will not know what a ketone is or what ketosis is. They will not understand what that is. So if you ask them this, so out of curiosity, what is a ketone? They may know it's something related to ketoacidosis, something like that. But ketoacidosis will only occur if your blood sugars are over 300, okay? So that means you have no insulin, you're diabetic type 1, you're not, you forgot to take it, your blood sugars are out of control, your pH becomes very acidic, and you're generating a lot of ketones because your body is eating up your muscle protein, it's just, it's making too many ketones. But that is not the same as taking a healthy person, dropping your carbs, and getting the body to make more ketones. Ketones are simply the byproduct of fat burning, and you're using them as an alternative fuel, it's a more efficient fuel, it's, it produces more energy, uh, less CO2, more oxygen. You get more energy out of the ketones, you have less inflammation. So it's a very healthy thing to do. But you have to understand what it is before you can even say that. And people tend to attack what they just don't understand. And that's really what you're up against. So go ahead and try this and comment below and tell me how it goes. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.